In this video, we will continue with graphs of absolute value functions. You will find this on page 373 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to 6 6. Let's look at this other algebraic method. The vertex to find the x-intercepts, the y-intercept method. Okay. So, let's look at the example. fx is a function given this. So, but okay, before I'm doing this, I will now make a rough sketch. Okay, now it's going to be a bit more difficult because there will be a 2 in front of the x. So, if it's so a little bit more complicated, it's very good. At the end, you can just look at the basic rules to see if your sketch is correct. So, find the x and the y intercepts of the graph. The principles stay the same. If you want to see for the x intercept, you make y zero. Okay, so I put y, and you can do equations now, so take it over. So remember equations, there's a positive value as well as a negative value, and you get your two x-intercepts. For the y-intercept, you make x zero, so put a zero, make it positive, negative three, and it's one, and that's the y-intercept. So don't forget, um, you can even write the x-intercept, so find the x and y intercepts of the graph. So I think it's better, they will even penalize you if you don't do that. So therefore, uh, it's going to be 7 over 2, 0, and a half 0. That's the intercept. You have to put it in that format. Okay, so just include, I will include it in, an, in the next print. So find the coordinate of the vertex now. To find the vertex, make the absolute value part equal to zero. That part in between the bars, make it equal to zero. Okay, so x is equal to 2, it's the line of symmetry. And then you substitute that value into the original equation to find the y coordinate of the vertex. So you substitute, you get negative 3, and there is your vertex. And now you just plot. You plot your vertex, you plot your x-intercepts, you plot your y-intercept, and there's the graph. So although this is sketch, we should still use a scale so that we can label all the critical points clearly. So do it still on a grid, one centimeter block, something like that. Okay, um, I just want to say, let's just think about it. So if you look at that negative three, so it means it's moved three units down. Can you see that? Okay. And then, if it was negative 4, so basically it's just this position that's a little bit more influence, okay? But because it's negative, it's moved to the positive, to, to the right-hand side. Do you see that? Okay, but it's, it's very good, and this is a method that you will always be able to do okay, without even thinking, just knowing the basic principles. For the intercepts, make the opposite one zero. To find the vertex, take the inside the bars and put that equals zero and take that answer and put it in the original to find the y, y coordinate of the vertex. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number 1c as well as number 2e. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start with number 1c. So first write it down, it's y equals, and it's 2x minus 5 minus 3. Okay, so let's first find my intercept. So the x intercepts make y equal, that great, make y equal to 0. So I'm going to say 0 equals 2x minus 5 minus 3. It's an equation, so take it over. So it's actually going to be 2x minus 5. If I take that one, it's 3. I actually just already swapped the sides. Now don't forget equations. You make it a bracket, so or nothing. And it's the positive option, or 2x minus 5 is the negative option. Go back to the previous videos of equations if you still struggle with that. So you have 2x equals, if it goes, no, so it's going to be 8, 5 plus 3. And if I divide 2, divide 2, so therefore 
x is equal to 4. And this one, so therefore the, the coordinate point is 0. And then this one, it's 2x equals, but now it's negative 3 plus 5, so that will be 2. So if I divide 2, divide 2, so the value of x will be equal to 1. You, it, it's usually very good still to test the points, to put it into the original to test. Usually if there's only one solution, it can, and I'm just mentioning it now to you, it can be that, at, say for example, usually there are no solutions, will be something like this. You follow, not cutting, or something like this, not cutting the x-axis at all. In this case, both of them will be solutions. And you can test it by substituting it in there. And just actually substitute it in there to see that this side is equal to that side. Okay, now the y-intercept. Intercept make x equals to zero. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to say, okay, first remember in the place of x, I will put now a zero. Let's first put the bars. So y is equal to, and there is my negative 5, minus 3, let's move it up a little bit. So y is equal to 5 minus 3, so that's 2, so therefore it's going to be 0 and 2. And then in the next one, the vertex. So let's just find the vertex. Okay, now remember, take that part inside and put it equal to zero. So in this case, it's going to be a fraction. So x is going to be 5 over 2 or 2.5. And now you put this into the original. So if I put this into the original... Uh, what is the original? Let's just get it. Let's just get it. Doesn't matter. Let's just focus there. So it's y equals, and now it's 2, 2. Okay, and I want to show you something. It's actually, in, okay, in this case, let's just first put it there in. So this is going to be, okay, so let's just see. Uh, this is going to be 2 times, so it's 5 minus 5, so it's negative 3. Negative 3. So therefore, the vertex is 2.5 and negative 3. Okay, and now I can make the sketch. Just want to see. Okay, let's just make a grid. If I can move it up. Let's bring, I'm just going to move down for all the information. Okay, but let's just, I think I'm going to do the sketch here. I think that will be the best. Okay. So let's just go back. Where does it cut the x-axis? At 4, 0, 1, 0. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 1, 0. But the, but the vertex will be 2.5 and negative 3. Let's just move it up a little bit. 2.5 and negative 3. There. And the y-intercept is 0 and 2. Then I just basically take my ruler and you can extend this leg just like you can see the V better. So therefore, I can just write 
This is y is equal to 2x minus 5 minus 3. Okay, and that's how you... Can you see negative 3? It's moving downwards, and the shape is up. It's not turned upside down. Let's do the next one. Let's make space. Okay, I forgot to tell you in this previous one. Let me just undo. Always good that you write it in. So right here, 2.5 and negative 3. Write in here uh, 1 and 0. Write in here 4 and 0. And write in all the pointers where it intersects the axis, 0 and 2. Very important. Just write that coordinate point C. Okay. Now we can make space. Okay. Now let's do number 2e. I'm just going to keep my grid. Well, let's just first make it plain. And then I will bring my grid in later. So number 2e. So y is equal to negative a third x. Oh, this is nice. Plus 2. So the, okay, let's just start. This is the x-intercepts, and always remember, make the opposite one zero. Okay, so it's going to be zero equals negative a third x plus two. Okay, so take it over, and this is going to be interesting. So this is going to be negative two, oh, luckily it's saved, because don't forget, that you divide then negative a third and you divide negative a third. So luckily it's not negative because if it was negative, what will happen then? Then they, it will not cut the x intercept. But in this case, it's going to be like this. Negative 2 divided a third is going to be positive 6. Okay. So if I'm now going to make my equations, I'm just going to say, okay, so x is equal to positive 6 or x is equal to negative 6. So if I write it, it's 6 and 0 or negative 6 and 0. Okay. Now I'm going to do my y-intercept. Okay. Make the opposite, make x zero. Okay, so if I make x zero, it's y is equal to negative a third, and make it zero plus two. So I'm going to have y is equal to two. So that vert that y intercept, not the vertex, is going to be zero and two. And now we will get the vertex. Now the vertex, the, if you look, it's just x. So put that equal to 0. So it's just going to be 0. Now substitute that into the original equation. And if I do that, I will just go in to say, okay, y and the vertex is going to be 0 and 2. Okay. And then I'm going to make my grid. Oh, it's like this. I'm going to do it on the side again. Okay. So let's just get that in order. What color? I want to see that it fits. Okay, first make two points. It's cutting at 6 and 0. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is actually negative 6 and 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
this is 6 and 0 x-axis and it's also cutting um, it's just in this 0 and 2 so 0 and 2 but interesting this is also 0 and 2 so what does that actually mean it means that the vertex is also the y-intercept and again don't forget to write in that coordinate 0 2 negative 6 0 and 6 and 0 the equation is y can you see how this is all, almost compressed but in the meantime the gradient becomes less steeper can you see the, how it's upside down okay it's not the legs is not up but the legs is down and that's how you do it this was the one. Oh, sorry. The y axis.